different, it's because I forgot my camera at the house while I was so focused on emptying Rosine out with all the hunting gear of mine and Reagan's in it, and then getting the trailer hooked up to the Cadillac, and then getting all the parts thrown in Rosine, and then making sure I could find the right wheel key to get the lug nuts off to put those in Rosine, and uh, rushing to get to an appointment and forgot my vlog camera. So I'm using my iPhone. But anyway, so we're on our way to my dad's office. We're gonna get adjusted, and then we're gonna be dropping off Rosine at Devin Fry's uh, place where he does the lift kit stuff for us. So he's gonna be doing the lift kit on Rosine, which is a five inch lift kit, all suspension, it's not a body lift. And then I also have the axle behind the Cadillac here. So we're gonna be taking that as well. And hopefully we can get that all buttoned up. The one thing we're still waiting on is her coil trays because the ones on the axle that she bought are a little bit rusty. So she wanted to get those swapped out. A little bit rusty as in like there's a couple little you know, small pinholes you can see through the coil trays, which unfortunately is a super common thing on those second gens. The coil trays just, they're so thin and brittle, they just rot out. She bought new ones like, like 10 days ago and they just haven't come in yet for whatever reason. They were supposed to be in already, but they just haven't showed up. So hopefully that's not too much of an issue and that they come in quick so we can run them up to him. A couple of other things. I did also just hear back from the loan officer that we've been working with regarding our new property that Reagan and I are buying. And according to her, we should be able to close on our new hunting property by like October 5th, I think, 5th or 6th. So we're freaking stoked because guys, this has been like a lifelong dream of mine to, you know, not just like buy a house, like, oh, I'm a homeowner. Like I really could care less about that. That's not really like, for me, that's not a goal. It's not like a big accomplishment because anybody can just sign off on something, go into a bunch of debt and have a house. That's not really like that cool. The property thing has been something that I've been like looking forward to for so long because I want to expand the Brotherhood Outdoors, you know, outdoors channel. I want to expand a clothing line for that and do like a deer hunt giveaway, give away, you know, ATVs and side by sides and just other cool stuff related to like outdoors men and women. And I think that that would be a super cool thing. And to be able to go out and do my own deer habitat work on my own ground, manage it, try to figure out how to shoot bigger and more mature deer off of it. And knowing that like it's my own small property that I can sink as much time and effort into and that I can reap the benefits solely from that property. You know, Reagan and I like, it's just kind of a cool, it's kind of a cool concept and something that I've been looking forward to for a long time. It was kind of a goal of mine to have a piece of hunting ground before my 21st birthday. And what's kind of funny is my 21st birthday is actually on October 13th and the property we're supposed to close like 10 days before that ish, give or take. Pretty exciting, looking forward to it and just couldn't be happier. I mean, if you haven't subscribed to the hunting channel, like what are you doing bro? Like we've got all kinds of hunts going up there all the time. We've already tagged four does in the first four days of the deer season for the Indiana deer reduction zone season. And that's been going really great. So now we're done doe hunting for the Indiana urban property. That's all of our doe hunting until we close on this property in Ohio. Cause this guy apparently said that the guy that I'm buying it off of said that there's just like an ungodly amount of does. Like he's like, there's so many does that like, he's like, it was like a normal thing to see 30 deer in a set and most of them are does. So we might have to thin those out a little bit, but you know, of course we're only permitted either two doe tags and one buck tag or three doe tags and no buck tag for the county. So we'll see how that goes. But Reagan and I might be having to thin out a couple of the does in that area because that's a, that's a lot of does. So super exciting stuff, a lot of big stuff coming up. We're looking forward to it. So we're on our way to Devon's here, but I want to update you guys on what we're doing for the truck meet. So the truck meet was originally supposed to be September 26th in Eaton, Indiana. That's E-A-T-O-N. However, that's no longer the plan. It just, it's not, it's just not going to work out with that location, which is totally fine. We just have to rearrange things to make it work. So what we're thinking about doing is making the meetup on Sunday the 27th. Hopefully that's not too much of an issue for some people. I know some people had to schedule around work and stuff. This is just when we can make it work and where we can do it. Plans have changed a little bit. So Sunday the 27th, and then on top of that, the meetup location is going to be the abandoned Golden Corral off of exit 25 in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'll put the address in the description below as long as I don't forget, but I also posted it on my Instagram. So if you guys have been paying attention to my Instagram, if you haven't been, follow it. Here's my Instagram. Keep up to date with the little updates and stuff like that on there because I'm gonna be posting on there on my stories and posts and stuff way more frequently than making and editing YouTube video just to make an update. So if you wanna follow on that stuff, please do that to keep up to date with what's going on. And then we're gonna probably meet up at that location around 12.30 Eastern Standard Time and then hang out there, 
say what's up, talk to some people, look at each other's trucks, just have a good time. But then after an hour and a half-ish, two hours, depending on how early people start showing up, around two o'clock, everybody is supposed to be, not necessarily all of you guys. If you don't want to, that's totally fine, but Fort Wayne is doing a big Trump caravan. So basically around 2 p.m., everybody that wants to be a part of this, around 2 p.m. in the entire Fort Wayne area is going to be merging onto the 469 route and then basically just driving around Fort Wayne, the entire 469 Fort Wayne loop around the city, going about 50, 55 miles per hour. There's gonna be Trump flags, American flags. People are just gonna be rolling around in their trucks, cars. It doesn't really matter. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Reagan and I are for sure gonna be a part of it because we love our president. We think he's done a really great job even though nobody gives him credit. And we just wanna be a part of that. So we feel like it would be a great opportunity because we know that dominantly most of our fans and followers are level-headed and they are smart people and they love Trump. That being said, that's what we're gonna be doing. Hanging out from about 12.30 until two o'clock and then at two o'clock merging on to the exit right there next to the meetup location and showing our support and going around Fort Wayne with everybody else who's gonna be there in support of our president. So thank you guys so much for everybody that's gonna make it out. If you can't make it out, totally understand. Um, it's not like our original plan was. The original plan was to meet up and you know everybody hang out for like two or three hours at a totally different location but that's just not gonna work anymore, which isn't a big deal, at least not for us. It might be to some people, but that's just what we gotta do to make it work. So if you guys wanna be a part of that, information hopefully in the description below here, as long as I don't forget, but follow me on social media just to be sure, because I have already posted it all on there. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys Sunday. Got the axle dropped off, but there's Devin's dually. He actually ended up taking the front wheels off. He had it all stanced out just like the rear, but he took them off. I think he said he wants to sell the truck because he drives big rig freaking every day of the week now and so he's like dude i really just don't even have time for this because he's a guy he's got another daily driver so he's like i'm thinking about just selling it you know so anyways i don't know he offered it up to me but i just bought a dually <laughs> so we'll see what happens here is the actual place we're planning to have the meat this is not our parking lot though so just be mindful of that when you guys show up. This is not our parking lot. In fact, somebody might, I see a Cadillac park right there. I don't know if that's for B-dubs or if that's somebody that actually owns the building now, but somebody does own this building, whether there's a business in there currently or not. Somebody owns it, of course, even if it is for sale. So just be mindful that like, we probably shouldn't be like shredding tires like right here in the parking lot. If you do that is on you, not on me. Just so you guys know, disclaimer, I'm not, encouraging you guys to do that in front of the building because I don't know who owns it. I don't want to like tick anybody off, but this is the building. It's just off of 469, exit 25 in Fort Wayne. And so basically after the meet here for like an hour, hour and a half, we're basically gonna just move along out to the road here and merge onto the highway for the Trump caravan. And there's just gonna be people from all over the Fort Wayne area joining in on that as well. So we do actually have a winner for this truck now from Arizona. The winner's name is Ben, he's from Arizona. So about a day and a half trip to drive this thing back. So we're gonna decide how he wants to get the truck. Does he wanna try to have the truck shipped? Does he wanna fly out and drive it back? What does he wanna do? So we'll see what happens. But I do know he said that he wants the forces and not these. So if he is gonna drive it back, <laughs> That'll be a fun and interesting drive. So in terms of this truck though, every $1 is now five entries to win. So it's 5X entries, not 20X anymore. However, right now until September 28th in just a few days, every single order gets random amounts of cash in it. So head on over to lmpgear.com and get entered today. And also the giveaway does end in just 13 days. So don't waste much time. It's gonna put a wrap on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We're probably gonna try to get a phone call with the winner in the next upload. He just can't call me tonight for a few hours. So I figured I'd get this video up to you guys, even though I don't have him on the phone yet. Ben from Arizona won the Ford and I don't know how we're gonna get it to him whether it's gonna be he's gonna try to have it shipped or if he's going to fly out here drive it back I don't know how we're gonna work that out but we'll try to get that discussed and figure it out for him don't forget if you want that first gen time's running out less than two weeks and then also if you're gonna try to beat that meat the abandoned Golden Corral at exit 25 in Fort Wayne Indiana will try to leave um, address is already on my Instagram page and all that stuff to go to the location so you have an exact spot to punch into your GPS. Um, I'll try to leave it in the description as well. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.